can be your killer, nobody gon' play with you. Okay. I'm with you. Go against any nigga I'm like fuck this girl. Skeet on third on beats. I put it in for you, I spin for you. What live you with? I'm with it. I'm here with you. I got you lit in the city. I've been multitasking, rapping and being a daddy to my little kid. I've been spinning on business and spinning and spinning and spinning. Cool, cool. So, my name is Eli. Uh, ETE is what they call me. I'm from the bar. No, I'm from Brock. Um, Asian, of course, you feel me as we can see it up, you know what I'm saying? My people's from Port de Pet. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know whether they mean Port de Peace or not, but I'm not too sure. Uh -huh. I don't want to sound stupid, but. Yeah. Um, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, I was raised here. Um, I really came to Pumper to make music um, and stuff like that. Uh, I kind of been in the studio since I was. Maybe like 15, 14. Yeah. I'm in the studio. Yeah. I was like 14. I was engineering on Fruity Loops. Um, with my boys, we had a little group called That's TV. TV game. Right. When I was 14, um, they were all older than me. I was like the only one who kind of really did music and stuff like that. Um, as far as the engineering aspect. So we started on Fruity Loops. We dropped a tape that was called, dang, what was it called? <laughs> New Year's Same Hustle. So I actually didn't even start off, I actually started off making music first. Okay. But I mean, the engineer really came from us having to just record, kind of spend no money on studio time all the time and stuff like that. So we just got this little bando um, right here in Pompano, which is yeah. crazy. Everything really started here, right here in Pompano, um, right by that hospital over there on Dixie. Okay, okay. Uh, we got this oh, that's really on, that's on. And the girl, it was like in a little garage. Okay. It barely had AC and it was like this size, right? Here. Let's see. Like this size. Uh, it was cut off. We had like a booth on the little slot there. We had one couch and then we had like a dresser, like one of the one of the clothing dressers on okay. the desk. So we didn't have like no studio desk or no mixing yeah. or nothing like that. We had one computer and we had literally one speaker. <laughs> so it wasn't no like big setup or nothing like that. Um, so I always tell people like when they're saying like, you know, I don't got enough money to do this and I got I don't have that and I don't have that, I'm like, you really kinda need a bare minimum to start off with yeah. whatever the case may be. So uh we started off with that. Um then we moved to a bigger studio in Sunrise, right by the Wendy's. No, nah, no, nah, right by the Snappers and Family Dollar. Yeah. Right by Fisher Hooks and Family Dollar, uh in this big, big like building thing. So we ended up getting a room. And the room was much bigger than what we had before, so it was probably like this size, little lobby, and then there was a little smaller room, probably a little, little smaller room that had like a little control room. Okay. And then we had a booth in there too. I mean, we went there, I mean, bigger space. Uh, we were supposed to like kind of launch a, a real thing going on and stuff like that, but things happened. It didn't, mm -hmm. it didn't really go as planned. So everybody else I was with, I was with my boys, uh, Young Bills, Young Hippie, uh, T.O., uh, Millie, uh, Poppy, uh, Poppy, who else? I think, I think that's, that's about it. He didn't hit me up trying to work. I didn't know who it was, but... That's right. Uh, yeah. Growing up, I ain't really listened to rap music like that. Okay. It was always gospel in the house. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was straight gospel, yeah. but... Uh, straight gospel, R and B, and stuff like that, but it was never really rap like that. Uh, what, what's one of the tracks you could think of off the top of your head? Um, I'll probably all of Kirk Franklin stuff. Okay. Cause all my sisters used to praise that and stuff like that. And we we're like I said, we were at church like for maybe four times a week. Weekly. Mm -hmm. We at church Monday prayer, yeah. Wednesday Bible study. Friday prayer oh, it's more than my house, so 12. On Sunday, we back at church, and we're at church three times on that one Sunday. Yeah, probably on the Wednesday, <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> we got morning church. We had, we had morning church, Sunday school, of course. Then you had regular service. Right after you got a regular service, you went home for like three hours. Ate some food, came back to like youth service, and then like a regular service again. That, that's four times, that's almost four right. times. I feel like that's how it is in a lot of Caribbean homes yeah. um, that are religious. Um, but, so, it, you didn't really even get a chance to listen to like rap music or anything like that. And if you did have anything like that playing, I mean, Dukes would probably tell you to turn it off or she don't wanna hear that now. 
But you know, obviously, we would wake up to her playing music, you still and it all be gospel. Oh. You still listen to it? Gospel? Oh yeah, of course. Of course. I always, I always listen to all gospel in the car. I'm not gonna lie, I did have this time where I never even listened to her, like rap like that. I was listening to straight gospel for probably like a few months. Versus. Versus. Rap music, hip hop, and stuff like that. I mean, hip hop is the same old stuff. You think um, there's, a, there's more passion to it? Nah, you know what it is? Um, I think with, with gospel, you're listening to gospel not really for lyrics, but for the, for the soul. Yeah. It's for nourishment. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, not, it's not so passionate, it's the, um, the feeling you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, so you're, you're, you're not really listening to it. But just to like get some beat groove or get in a feeling nothing, it's, it's more like you're listening to it because most of the time it's because you're either going through stuff or the lyrics actually touch you. Um, And like I said, it's more for the soul, like just the nourishment of it. All right. <laughs> I would have been stuttering, I mean, not be able to talk, I would have been stuttering, maybe. Yeah. Uh, I thought you said it was hot, I thought you're not trying to do it. Uh, um, <laughs> Alright, so the question was, what are stems? So basically, each one of these tracks right here, you say will, hot be boy. Considered, sure. will be considered um stems, of course. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Sure, sure. Um, so, basically stems are just pretty much bits and pieces so it can be vocals it can be instruments it can be um, whatever it is that comes together to make an overall song or okay. a track or instrumental um, or whatever your end product is um, and that's basically what, what stems are um, basically I mean when it comes to mixing right, you have stems for, um, for beat making and you have like stems when it comes to like engineering and stuff so stems when it comes to beat making and producing would usually be each instrument mm -hmm. that, that's used in the um, but usually as far as stems um, for engineering that'll usually be um the whole beat so each end of a track from like the hi-hats the bass drum mm -hmm. to the 808s and everything and then you have lead vocals backup vocals ad-libs dubs in and outs and all these things and that's pretty much all stems is um and that's really what you use to just kind of mix mix the songs and stuff yeah. And then you come out with new bangers, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, come yeah. out with new bangers that come out, to go number one, and stuff like that. But this is really where it starts. Um, this is probably the, the most important part, actually, um, uh, of the whole process of having songs come out. There is no Travis Scott without, you know, an engineer. There is no Drake without an engineer. So, stuff is important. So, I think somebody just came in. Uh, so you know how, like, basically, doctors have scalpels? Yeah. We got like plugins. That's really it. We got EQs, compression, dynamic EQs, multiband compression, um, you feel me? Sibilance. Uh, I mean, whatever you can you can get to get a song that sounds good. I'm I'm a big believer on there's no rules when it comes to engineering. Okay. Um, doesn't mean that I don't follow some of the stuff, but there's no rules. It's about results. You feel me? Give me so much gems right now, um, because there's a lot of stuff that people don't know. Um, people back out and they run away as soon as they see, like, oh, I can't do this and I can't do that, instead of trying to find a way. So, what I started doing instead because I knew I couldn't pay these people because we just weren't getting enough sessions and I needed to make sure I was making enough money to pay the rent, you know what I'm saying? And not to mention my personal bills, <laughs> you feel me? So, so I started bringing people through mutual agreements. Um, I knew Zara wanted to make beats, so I was like, hey, um. Come in, da, da 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 da. Came up to an agreement. Dom came up to an agreement. Um, and then as I started picking up, I brought in Cass, um, one of my good friends, um, phenomenal engineer as well. One of the first engineers. No, sorry, I'm about to lie. I brought in Kay. Kay was an engineer at the school. She was also one of the. Um, For some reason, she came to mind, I remembered her. So I, I called one of the teachers um, from Broward College that I, I, I had a number, I had um, 
the number. I was like, hey, she's still working. Uh, she was like, I was like, hey, does she need somewhere to work? Bring her own clients. <laughs> and I was saucing it up. I'm like, bring her own clients, um, and I give her fifty percent of whatever sessions I get. Cause I'm like, that's crazy shit, fifty percent. But I'm like, damn. Need I need people. somebody to come work because at, what the problem I was starting to have is I was getting more people, but because I was still at work in school, I couldn't book anybody. So I was hitting people with, yeah, I don't have that time. Yeah, I don't have can't that slot. That. Yeah, I can't make that. I'm like, I can't grow if I can't bring more people in. I was like, yeah, okay, I'm getting the eyes. Yeah, they're seeing me. I'm marketing. People know me. They're getting word of mouth. But if I can't get them to sit in this chair, it doesn't work. By the way, in here it didn't even look like this. In here it was looking crazy. I'm talking about the walls were brown. Um, I had this little desk, this small ad desk. TV was black. I mean, it was crazy. The speakers on the wall weren't even these. They were like some smaller speakers or whatever. Nice. But yeah, so I finally brought somebody somebody in. Um, then we worked, we built, we kind of built the studio and stuff like that. Um, and we went straight into COVID. That kid. Yeah, we went that straight kid. into COVID. But I had already accumulated so much money that it was fine. And then I had financial aid again. So, you feel me? I collected that check, that financial aid check. Um, and he used to keep having good grades that give me more money. So, I was trying to stay in college. Um, so, yeah, so we went into, um, we went into COVID, so we were shut down for like maybe a month, month or two. Probably a month. That's when I chose to like redo it here and stuff like that. Um, we kind of renovated it. We got some gear. We got this board um, and stuff like that. Um, I was one of the crazy people that kept that stayed up. So fuck that shit. <laughs> I just I just built this place, bro. I cannot be closed for for three four months, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I stayed open, and surprisingly, I think that's what gave me a lot of the buzz that we gained too. That's fine. Because because everybody was looking for places. Oh, are you guys still open? What's that, the restrictions? Because I guess studios were having crazy restrictions and some of them weren't open and stuff like that. So I didn't really have no restrictions. Like, you got COVID? No. Nope. Yeah, All right, you come in. <laughs> you feel me? Was that healthy or safe? Nah, you get what I'm saying? But honestly, I was young. Um, and bro, it was ground mode. Like, I, I had no choice. You get what I'm saying? But like I said, I had to keep the place open and going. Um, so we opened up, we started gaining more attraction, like everybody started knowing Scape is what they call us. We're really called Calvin Records. But everybody calls us Scape because of Instagram. Um, so you know, everybody's talking about Scape, 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 Scape. Because when we first started, we started off with uh, four hours for a hundred deal. Um, nobody was really doing that in Broward. How much uh, per hour do you say is, is the price? I mean, from this room right here, you're paying 60 an hour now. Um, and then my room downstairs 40. And I actually have the other side. Okay. Um, um, you plan on expanding more? Yeah, I was supposed to open another uh, another location in uh, Myanmar. Okay. West Myanmar. I halted on that for now, though. Um, really, really, because I mean, I kind of want to. I kind of want to dive into some more stuff. There's a lot more stuff going on. As far as labels and stuff like that, I gotta get that situated and figured out first before I take my mind and put it somewhere else. Because expansion is just not buying another building. Expansion is like, I have to find more people. I have to make sure I have the right clientele going there, all this stuff. And I'm one person. So that means I have to find another me to run that location. You know what I'm saying? And nobody will ever do your job like you are. Advice I learned from the industry. Um, when the biggest thing I learned, because I'm not very confrontational, I'm I'm I, I'm very easy to work with. Like, what I did learn though is I got to be aggressive. Um, if you get aggression back, be aggressive back. Let people know what, what it is you want. Um, as long as it's not none of obnoxious and crazy, um, speak up and let people know what, what it is that you want, what it is it you need, um, for your, your work. You know what I'm saying? If you know you give good work, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Just, just speak up. Um, Cause a lot of things that you are gonna deal with when it comes to this music stuff is just people hating, people don't like you, people this, you gotta deal with. I mean, as far as artists, you're dealing with fans that don't like you, you're dealing with labels, not one of this, other artists not liking you. Bro, listen, you can't do nothing about it. 
You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just keep moving. You know what I'm saying? Um, as long as it's nothing that's devaluing you or stopping your breath from coming in, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I don't got nothing to do with me. You can hate me all you want. You know what I'm saying? If you're not a part of my team, it is what it is. And in the minute I feel like you're unloyal, trying to cross the team, you gotta go, you gotta go too. So I would just say, just be aggressive. Just know what you want, know what it is. And the minute anybody steps up and tries to stop you from doing that, Yeah, shake. <laughs> <laughs> you already know, shout out Cap Records, shout out Skate, aka Skate. Shout out the whole team, you get what I'm saying? Oh, my whole team. You already know that it is Booth Man. You know, I ain't even do all that. That's way too much people to name. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Yeah, you feel me? Um, Really just shout out, shout out to all the artists out here. Um, I appreciate it. Career Talk, you know what I'm saying? For a little interview. Um, and honestly, hey, we from being at the top. I'm gonna see y'all there. Oh. You're gonna see my face in the morning. Yeah. I walk around, I'll be at the mall, I'll be like, are you scared? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is, no. <laughs> start keeping him pecking around. Bro, I'm like, man. I feel like my studio, my studio got more clout than me. I'm way more Instagram. I'm not a social media person. I'm really trying to get my social media up now. Somebody gave me this You have speech. a Twitter? Nah. I can market your Twitter for free. I'll yeah, be marketing my business. Twitter. Nah, because Twitter's where you get a lot of promotion in. So I'm good. I don't have Twitter. I don't have, Twitter now. I don't have TikTok. Yeah, I don't, I don't have those. Twitter. My people told me to do TikTok, but uh, I'm not trying to do that really. Bro, I don't got Twitter and TikTok. That's how you know I don't really fuck with social media. That's good. I have Instagram and I'm like. You barely use it, I right? barely use that shit. All right. I recently started using my like, recently. Uh, oh, every everything you can really find on anybody is that on Yeah, bro. Like even the studios. Yeah. Yeah. You can start searching. I think we just hit like 4K or some shit. You know how hard it is to market studio. <laughs> then we just hit like 4K and I stopped doing it. Bro, I just the studio. Like, he wants to keep on seeing the pictures. Of bro, the like people. so you gotta so keep working it. Like, like yeah, 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 yeah. man, I had to get some else to do shit. I can't do it no more. I can't even market my damn page. I hate taking pictures too. I hate being on camera. You don't know how hard this is for me right now. <laughs> but yeah, shout out Kevin Records, you feel me? AKA Scave. You can follow us on Instagram at Scave Audio. You feel me? I'm coming right there. Yeah. Oh, um. You want to say like any uh any advice for upcoming engineers or like one life lesson that you learned so far? Sure. Uh, advice to engineers or upcoming engineers coming up. There's no rules. All oh, that shit they teach you in your school. No, I ain't even say that. I ain't even say that. <laughs> 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 let me, let me, let me, let me, you know, I ain't even, I ain't even putting discouraged nobody. I don't want nobody quitting. <laughs> I don't want nobody quitting school. <laughs> school first because of me. Yeah, hmm? Stay, stay in school, school, you feel me? Just in case. Yeah. Just, stay in school. <laughs> Just in case. Exactly. Get back up our advice to upcoming engineers, um, honestly, just just learn it. Like, if you for the engineer, just the engineer, bro, it ain't for you. You gotta really learn this stuff and just love it because you, you want to be creative. You want to be able to do different stuff, not the same re reverse reverb this and stuff like that. Same same radio. Nah, if you're trying to be great, you gotta be different. You know what I'm saying? So that that includes listening to several different genres. Um, I feel like if you're an engineer, you should listen to everything. Because you could take some aspects from country music and throw it to hip hop. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've taken gospel, little gospel things that they do. I've thrown it into hip hop. I've thrown little hip hop stuff <laughs> into gospel. Um, like EDM, anything like that, honestly, contemporary, all that stuff. I would listen to everything. There's no rules in music. You know what I'm saying? So it's about just the results that you get. If the track is good, it's good. If it's not, it's not. You know what I'm saying? So honestly, I would just say, love your craft and do it for real. All right, and then um, you just wanted to answer that one or the le any life lessons that you learned so far? Nah. Okay. So you guys just don't. Yeah. I don't know. All right. Um.
basically one builds it and one tunes it, right? Basically, the most important person to me. Because <laughs> uh, you tune it, We right? take the whole song, we put it together. Uh, we create it. We, we're, the, we're the creativity behind it. We take the press and the final song comes from us. You know what I'm saying? The artist is just an instrument. We have to take all the instruments and make it the song. Good? So everyone does anything to you? You get this. Yeah. You said don't regret it. Yeah. I I